Okay, after a long, long time, finally, we have the Pixel Experience Plus Edition based on Android 12.1. And yes, this is what we have installed right now on our device. And I've installed on Redmi Note 10 Pro as unofficial build. And if you're a user of any other device and looking for this one, it's rolling out for all the official supported devices very soon. It's actually based on Android 12.1. Normal Android 12 version was already released some time ago. Even Android 12.1 based first build was released last month but now with the latest apple security patch we have the android 12.1 based pixel experience plus edition if you want to know about pixel experience and pixel experience plus edition differences or change logs stay tuned till the end of the video i'm gonna share with you very cool things about this one and the major changes what we have we have the apple security patch as expectedly and if you need a up if you need an updated customer with updated security patch etc try out pixel experience and most of the users definitely love pixel experience on their devices and this is what we have installed right now of course one thing if you're able to see the major change which we have is in the quick settings panel it's now with a white background in pixel experience normal edition we have uh, the black background of course it's about users preferences if you prefer to use the black one or if you want to use the white one by the way you cannot change these colors but yes it is what you have by default in pixel experience plus edition what we have right now and also alongside with there's all those new animations etc etc screen recording as you can see these animations are already present here internet I already those animations are already there power menu animations are already there so this is what we have about the quick settings panel alongside with that if you move on to the other options in sound and vibration etc we don't have any kind of major changes the ringtone adaptive sound which means all the pixel features are already included live caption etc all these things are already there vibrate to indicate call status etc all these things are already included in this one as expectedly we also have some other extra features which i'm going to talk about so stay tuned for that and let me show you some other things if i move on to the settings home page it has all the same things it will not give you any kind of dedicated has setup for all those customizations etc alongside with that if you move on to the security section face lock fingerprint lock everything is there of course in pixel experience normal edition same kind of things available no app lock unfortunately as expected in pixel experience we don't have the app lock but if you move on to the system settings we have extra things which i will talk about in app section we have the gaming dashboard available as expected if you move on to the game settings we have the game dashboard available in pixel experience normal edition things are basically same in pixel experience plus edition we might have some bit of features available here and there as i just mentioned and the features which you have are a little bit advanced not the major changes if i move on to the display settings let me show you some things if i move to display settings and lock screen settings you are able to see display media cover art and display music visualizer which is now added in this update latest update in pixel experience plus edition double line clock was already introduced in android 12.1 so this is what we have in the lock screen settings and alongside with that we also have the live display which was not introduced in pixel experience normal edition so yes you can customize the colors of your device as you can see color calibration red green blue and this is what you can do same kind of things with the colors natural boosted saturated and adaptive whichever you want to choose you can use so these kind of some basic useful things are included in the pixel experience plus edition it was same with pixel experience plus edition based on android 11 times a lot of users prefer to use a normal pixel experience a lot of users prefer to use pixel experience plus edition so finally both of the builds are available for most of the devices if i move on to the gesture settings quick tap to start action which is of course kind of really useful if you want to take if you want to take screenshot by quick tapping at the back of the device and yes it will work for you most of the times it works in my case it works partially of course i'm using the unofficial build and i'm just talking about my first impressions about the pixel experience plus edition but it's not a device specific review if you move on to the system navigation if you're able to see now we have all these settings options available in this navigation bar kind of things two button navigation three button and the gesture settings and we also have the option to disable the gesture indicator at the bottom 
and this is what you can't customize in pixel experience normal edition but we can do these things in pixel experience plus edition you can see this is how it is looking like and i think so it looks quite good including that you can also use other modules to customize these things a lot of magic modules are already available this thing a lot of users think about swipe to screenshot of course it's actually useful and most of the users use or use this feature on their devices including me and it's there swipe to screenshot you can simply swipe three fingers to take screenshot this option is already included and it's working perfectly fine so yes this is what we have available in the pixel experience plus edition if i move on to the button section we also have customizations related to volume buttons which means you can control playback which means you can see music tracks by long pressing the volume keys while the display is off i always use this feature and if a custom room does not include this one you can simply use the app available on the google play store and i think so i made a video already on that you can check out on my hindi channel a lot of videos are already available you also have the advanced restart option available same kind of thing with the white background on the power menu and a lot more things so these are some major changes which you have in the pixel experience versus pixel experience plus edition but if you need you can comment below i will try to make a video on pixel experience versus pixel experience plus edition talking about android 12 i have a video already available with pixel experience android 10 versus android 11 but i'm going to talk about android 12.1 based i will take a look at that for sure we have the network traffic monitor option of course a lot of users need this that's also present but if it is not available of course you can use the third party apps available on the google play store and all those apps are actually free if you need to use them you can we also have some status bar icons customizations if you want to enable or disable some icons from status bar we have some clock related customizations we have some battery indicator related customizations so basically if you need minimal customizations you don't need to go back to any other custom room if pixel experience is your favorite custom room simply install pixel experience custom room use it on a device customize some basic things and if you need any other thing you can simply install magic modules root your device and a lot more things i think so this is enough about pixel experience plus edition and if you are a lover of pixel experience room i think so you will love to install this thing you'll be eager to install this build on a device if your device didn't got this update yet make sure to check out the xdk or telegram channel if your device has the unofficial build available for you some things which i just want to let you know about the pixel experience plus edition i think so i've already shared with you other than else of course and take leaves all the android 12.1 things for example you can simply simply adjust the wallpapers install or use the latest quick wallpaper picker is already present there same kind of thing with the quick settings panel we have these new tiles animations available everywhere and same kind of things uh, other than else maybe we have the safety net yes safety status is also there which is just passing without root so things which i just want to let you know i have already shared with you some things which i just want to let you know i have already shared with you as i just mentioned so if you want to install this thing the official website link is already available if it was got the official one that's actually good but if your device didn't got the official update yet make sure to check out the xda or telegram channel if your device has the unofficial build available install from any other custom recovery pixel experience custom recovery in my case is not recommended at all it's not actually forced to use this is all thanks for watching else in next video goodbye Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through